Jack's first attempt at diving turned out to be quite a spectacle. His backside transformed into a parachute, and the pool water vanished in an instant. Onlookers were left baffled. What's going on? This is the scene of a superpower competition. Currently, judges are recruiting individuals with superpowers to battle formidable villains. Next up is Jack, as he steps forward. He does nothing at first. Suddenly, Jack enlarges his feet, leaving the three judges thinking, Is this it? Jack then proceeds to enlarge his head, and the female judge instantly gives him a pass. Following Jack is a young girl, who starts singing the alphabet upon arrival. Turns out, singing the alphabet isn't her superpower. She possesses incredible strength. Effortlessly lifting tons of weight, the girl casually tosses the table in front of the judges. Oh, frightened, grant her approval. Next on stage is a boy chewing gum. Without hesitation, he turns invisible. The judges marvel at his ability and give him a pass. The final girl steps forward, effortlessly moving objects. The judges find it unremarkable. However, she reveals an even more impressive skill, seeing things and even having x-ray vision. The judges approve. When the little girl learns that skirts are not allowed during training, she gets angry, lifting a 200 and a pound stone to smash the fragile glass. Bob is particularly upset with Jack, not only for being overweight, but also for being lazy. Bob resorts to his ancestral mocking technique, infuriating Jack, who bites into a bun and swells his belly, nearly turning Bob into a meat pancake. The team trains diligently and makes rapid progress. John activates his clairvoyant mode, effortlessly observing a beautiful woman dancing in her room. Anna not only splits steel pipes with one hand but also throws shot boots with unparalleled precision. The team coordination has vastly improved, not only handling challenges perfectly, but also finding time for some flirting. However, due to the early arrival of evil forces, the commander feels they are now ready to face them. He plans to enhance their superpowers with gamma rays, but this method has severe side effects, leading to loss of control. John, with his X-ray vision, sees through the plan, and they decide to unite and save the coach. They prepare to escape on a flying saucer, triggering an alarm. Orders are given to close all gates. In the chaos, the coach grabs the saucer, and at the last moment, they successfully escape. Suddenly, the sky lit up with fire and lightning, and a monster appeared out of nowhere. Upon closer inspection, Bob realized that the monster was none other than his brother, Mike. It turned out that Mike had been infected by gamma energy, gone astray, and mutated into a monster. With a single punch, he sent Bob flying far away, and followed it up with another punch that nearly killed Bob. At this moment, the children ran over. In the midst of the confrontation, a secret weapon was activated, but it seemed to have little effect and was heading straight for Anna. Just as it was about to hit her, the coach's lame superpower kicked in. His body shook violently, and he swiftly carried Anna away. Mike, thoroughly anchored, unleashed a devastating shockwave at the soldiers lurking around, rendering them defenseless. Meanwhile, Bop, moving at a speed surpassing might, covered the vast grassland in just one second, returned in battle attire, and began running in circles on the ground, creating an instant green tornado. Next, Jack used a pump strike to send Mike flying, and Anna, wielding a utility pole, swung at Mike, only to miss. Luckily, the female doctor intervened in time, blowing Mike into the tornado. Despite Mike attempting to escape, the tornado absorbed all attacks, including the side effects. Mike returned to normal, and the brothers were finally reconciled. When an evil force emerges, forces representing justice are bound to rise. 